there and welcome to The Witch's Corner. The Witch's Corner is where we talk about witches and ghosts and legends from all around Scotland and the UK. Now side note disclaimer, I've got my notes, okay, and I will be using them. And there's a couple of words just at the start that I'm not really sure on how to pronounce, so bear with me. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about a ghost called Abraham Crichton. I think that's how you pronounce his last name, but we're just going to be calling him Abraham. And he lived in the 1700s and he died in 1745. Abraham lived in a village called Sankar, located on the river Neith, Neith, N-I-T-H. I don't know. But it's in Dumfries and Galloway. I know how to pronounce that. <laughs> now, Sankar has at least three ghosts, possibly more, at least every village in like, everywhere has like three ghosts but today we're going to be talking about Abraham. Abraham was a wealthy merchant and a laird of like a lot a lot of land um in the surrounding areas and the townsfolk li liked him like he was really popular with the townsfolk at least for a time. He kind of fell out of favour and popularity but for you know at least 10 years that he was really, you know, popular. Um, he was so popular, in fact, that in 1734, the townsfolk made him chief magistrate. Um, but his wealth didn't last. And in 1741, Abraham went bankrupt. Like, he had no money left. Um, but nobody in the town believed him. They believed that how could this wealthy man be uh, bankrupt, like have no money, like that is impossible. They thought they they had that Abraham had stored like money away, like secretly somewhere, um, and was just pretending to be bankrupt, like pretending to be poor. And because of this, um, people on his lands stopped paying the bills to him. They were like, nope, you've got this money, you're just pretending to be bankrupt, so we're just not gonna be paying your bills, like paying our bills because you have money. We don't believe you. Um, and opinions of Abraham just became more and more sour after this. And in the four years um, between Abraham going bankrupt and 1741 and his death in 1745 Abraham managed to cause even more trouble for himself um yeah as if like he was just like I've got no money left let's just just let's just cause mayhem and that's kind of what he did there was a disused church in Sankar that had been had become very run down and actually very dangerous to go into because of the falling bricks and all that stuff like people just weren't allowed to go in there anymore they weren't allowed to use it there had been talks before like in the years before about tearing the church down but it was always met with the opinion that tearing down the church the the church the church would be met would be an act of sacrilege and numerous attempts had been made in the past to you know have the church demolished but they were always um the people involved always found themselves um falling victim to misfortune and the the demolition never came to anything it was very unsuccessful um and the townsfolk thought that they had fallen victim to misfortune because of god's wrath now abraham <laughs> didn't care like, he didn't care about God's wrath, about the people's opinion anymore. He was just like, nope, I've had enough. I'm wanting this church demolished and it's going to get done by hook or by crook. Like, it's going to happen. So one day in 1745, he gathered up some workmen and began taking down the roof of the church. However, not long after starting... A horrendous storm came in and forced them to stop working. Like, they just had to stop and just say, right, we'll come back tomorrow when the storm has passed. So they all got on their horses to head home. 
while riding home, the storm was that bad that when riding home, a bolt of lightning struck and caused Abraham's horse to rear up in panic. And Abraham was thrown off the horse. Well, he was sort of thrown off the horse. He was, he was unseated, but his foot got wedged, got lodged in the stirrup. So even though he wasn't on the horse anymore and the horse kept on galloping, um, he was dragged along, you know, behind the horse for quite a while until the horse eventually stopped um, at the Dalpeder. Now, I looked that word up and it said it was the new parish. So it was the new church that they were all using. The horse stopped there. But by the time the horse stopped, um, Abraham's lifeless, lifeless body was being dragged behind him. Like, Abraham had died. Uh, yeah. The townsfolk said that it was the wrath of God. And the, his death was the punishment for trying to take down the church, the sacrilege to the church, and all the lies that he told about being bankrupt. Can you not just be bankrupt with all these questions? Especially in 1700s. Anyway, because of the townsfolk opinion of him, they weren't exactly saddened by his death. And Abraham was uh, put to rest-ish. He was put to rest and the townsfolk thought that that was it. It was going to be forgotten about. However, Abraham had other things in mind. Abraham would not be forgotten so easily. When he was buried in the cemetery, he did not rest in peace. His ghost would appear in the cemetery at night and the surrounding fields, it was said that he would suddenly appear out of nowhere and frighten the people around the area. He would reach out his arm um, to try and take the person's hand and while doing so he was trying to speak but because he was a ghost and nobody stuck around like they were all frightened nobody stuck around to find out what he wanted to say or what would happen if they actually took his arm or took his hand or whatever um he would follow people on the path around the church and the only thing that would stop him following you was if you crossed the stream. Like he wouldn't cross the water. So people would make detours. And they did. They took dramatic measures to avoid the cemetery for a very long time. And the surrounding areas. They would take detours to, to try and avoid Abraham's ghost just popping out of nowhere and trying to take your hand. <laughs> News of Abraham's ghost spreads quickly because, you know, a ghost like that, you know, it spreads quickly and something had to be done about it. Um, so a local minister named Hunter, that was his last name, was appointed to deal with Abraham's ghost. Hunter came to the cemetery one dark night with a Bible and a sword. He was armed with a Bible and a sword. Just the things to take, that you need to take care of a ghost with. Oh. Um, he insisted, Hunter insisted to do this alone. He didn't want anybody around. He didn't want anybody knowing what he was going to do in there. Um, so he left. Like everybody left and he was left in the, in the graveyard that night and did what he had to do. The next morning, Hunter emerged from the cemetery saying that Abraham's ghost was no longer going to be an issue. Wanting to know more though, like the townsfolk were just like, yeah, but what happened? Did you see him? Did you talk to him? Like what, what happened? You know, Hunter just said, no man shall ever know what happened and um, what passed between us. So what <laughs> i want to know like theories and speculations um have been flying about but nobody actually saw what happened and because of this because of not knowing what had happened and if abraham's ghost is actually 
away or you know isn't isn't going to come back in some point in the future um the townsfolk took precautions and to me it's very drastic precautions but at the same time i get it <laughs> they secured his grave and the headstone um with heavy chains to secure the ghost in so if he ever came out like broke out of whatever um the minister hunter did you know he would be trapped within those chains why couldn't they done that in the first place like why did the minister have to go in there why couldn't they just put the chains in there in the first place so yeah if you're ever in sankar go and have a look for abraham if he's still there or if he's not I'm going to have a look for the for the chained <laughs> for the chained um, headstone but why couldn't they do that in the first i just i don't know yeah i don't know <laughs> i read one theory about what happened with hunter in there they said that he had drawn a circle with the sword and like trapped abraham in the circle and then read verses from the bible all night that trapped him in there but nobody actually knows because hunter was alone so i don't know <laughs> just remember don't piss off ghosts okay because they might come back and haunt you because that's technically like what abraham did the townsfolk kind of pissed him off and he came back and haunted them so yeah stay spooky